I'm joined by Emma Zilke, our AFLW Brisbane Lions captain, who this weekend is in the Quaffles Seniors Grand Final for Cooper So how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, pretty excited. It's been um, a big season. We've come from, we've had a few challenges throughout the way, but um, yeah, really excited for Sunday. This time last year, I was actually just moved from Perth to Brisbane and watching that exact same Grand Final and um, being here now and playing it is pretty surreal. So the younger girls actually lost by just two points last year. You have now joined their hunt for redemption this year. Oh, absolutely. And, and not knowing who those faces were last year and watching them in their fight for the game and now knowing exactly who those people are, it's pretty exciting to put the jumper on next uh, this weekend and fight for them. We've got um, Britt Gibson, Jess Wushner and Ali Anderson. Um, they're all in really good form at the moment. So um, if they all play a really big role in the game, I'm, I'm sure we'll be able to get um, a pretty good handle on the game. But yeah, they've um, been really important for Cooperoo and you know, they're all leaders in their own areas. So it's been really good for the other girls in the team to learn off them. A lot of the girls are new to the game in Quaffle um, and they're learning. And, I mean, there was a huge influx of um, new players signing up after our AFLW season, which is awesome for our league. Um, so the, the difference of skill levels is there, but, you know, they've still got the amount of passion we have um, playing for the Brisbane Lions as they do at uh, Cooper Roof. And what are you expecting from Yurunga? Um, they're a really strong team. They've, they've been the team to beat all year, so um, they move the ball really fast. Obviously, they've got Kate McCarthy, who's the fastest in our league and even in the AFLW. So um, trying to shut down her influence will be a big challenge for us, um, and, and no doubt um, Sabs will be a handful as well. But, yeah, just all the girls. The Yurong have got a really good list, and um, just trying to play a good team defence against them will try and get us over the line. It's going to be a hard game, it's not going to be easy and, and I love a hard game, it's, it's, it's what makes footy so great so playing against some of the girls in the AFLW team as well um, in the Lions squad is going to be interesting but it's going to be a lot of fun and I hope that everyone's there to watch, up, watch us. We know each other, how we play in and out so um, if we, we're really switched on we'll be able to uh, shut them down on, on, on their strength so yeah, really excited to play against them. So have you seen the league really grow in that one year since you've been here? Absolutely. Um, last year I could just see the, the talent and the strength was there but I think the passion part has grown this year just watching it. I think now that there is an AFLW everyone's fighting to, to, to make those squads so I think that's probably what's changed and I love it. I love watching it. What do you think the trash talk will be like on the weekend? Oh it'll be a lot of fun. I love banter especially from Zilk. She loves throwing a bit of chat um, but no it makes it a lot of fun and it just I guess that takes the I, the competitive, competitiveness to a different level, I guess, but um, no, it's definitely a lot of fun. Hey Lions fans, a great opportunity to see some women's football this Sunday at Yoronga. We've got 10 of your favourite Lions players playing, five for Cooperoo and five for the Devils. So, a uh, great opportunity to see a grand final in Brisbane. 3.15's a start time. Get down to Yoronga and uh, cheer us on. See you there. Go Kings. <laughs>